yes, yes, yes. Looking fresh in the new merchandise, Brighton merchandise, looking fresh. But I bet you are wondering, Luke, why weren't you at the Bournemouth away game Tuesday? The big win, 2-0. Julio and Ciso getting his first goal. And of course, Evan Ferguson getting on the score sheet once again. Well, look, couldn't get to that game. They literally they only sell like a thousand tickets. So I do apologise for not getting to it. But we're here going to a massive Tottenham game where the last time we went against these lot, we beat Beat them 1-0 with Leandro Trossard, late winner. And this game is very important, let's be honest. They are literally just above us, Tottenham, in the table. So that leads on to my score predictions for today's match. Well, today... It might be a bit boring, but I can definitely see it. Brighton taking the win, as I always like to be confident. 2-1 to the Albion away in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yes, we're going to win again. It's going to be limbs. It's going to be a nice, good day out. So let's not waste any more time in the house. Let's see if we can meet some fans. Yes, the amazing orange to red away kit. It's your boy, Luke Leeds Brighton, and we're back again today. Back in the tell the mouse, here we come with facts, and the don't get loud. Do we get it right back? So we kidding it right now. Just walking down now to the ground and uh, just want to say as well a massive thank you to all of you guys for 25,000 subscribers. Absolutely crazy. There's so many Brighton fanatics out there now in this community that we have built. Okay, we're with our first interview, and it's with Statman Harry. Statman Harry, how are you doing? Good to see you once again, and we're here in Tottenham Hotspur. The last time we were here, and you were on the vlog as well, we won 1-0, Leandro Trossard, late winner. What's happening today? I'm going to go for a 2-1 to the Albion, quite solid. I think um, I'm going to go for McAllister and Matoma today for the goals for us, and then I think for, for Spurs, I think it'll be Harry Kane. Mm, big stuff, big stuff. Statman Harry, always coming in with the stats, and what is it for today? not really an encouraging stat for Brighton but in the last 24 league games here Tottenham are unbeaten so they've won 17 of those and drawn seven so you know that's quite a record actually um, and on the trot here they've won their last four games so home games so yeah I think it'll be a very tough game today and if we do get a draw I, I wouldn't be surprised but it'd be a result I'd take but you know if we also can get the three points that's just a bonus and um, that'll move us higher up the table and away from teams that are in the area like Brentford and other teams that we're fighting for Europe this season. Absolutely. Massive, massive interview with Harry again. I appreciate it, Harry. Right, we're here with James. James, big game today, aren't, isn't it? I mean, you're you're Brighton fan. You've come down here again today. Are you from Brighton or are you from uh, around I'm, London? Yeah, I'm from Sussex. East oh, yeah. Yeah, area. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was the travel today? Yeah, it's all right. A bit busy. Yeah, definitely. What is your score prediction then going into this game and uh, goal scorers as well? 2-1 uh, Brighton. 2-1 Brighton. Goal scorers? Uh, I think... Maybe Welbeck, Ferguson, if he's playing, okay. could get one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely love that. Who is your favourite player f so far in this season? Oh, it's got to be uh, Dunkey. Is it? Big yeah. up, Dunkey. Well, I appreciate it, James. Okay. Thank you for right, coming no on, mate. Okay, Big you. up. OK, we're with Rob and Dylan once again. You guys are on for this one. It's a big one today, isn't it? We're in the concourse. How are you feeling, Rob? You start us off. Feeling pretty confident. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think Spurs are going to be in a bit of disarray. No manager. They're not going to really know what we're going to do. So I think we'll rip them apart. I'm going 3-0. 3-0 yeah. to the Albion. I'd love to see that. <laughs> it is quite difficult to, to really tell how Tottenham are going to perform today, isn't it, Dylan? I mean, they don't have their Conte. They're a bit of an up-and-down team at the moment. How do you think it's going to go? Yeah, I don't really know what to expect from this game. I think close game, definitely. But we'll see. I don't really fear any yeah. side at the moment. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm optimistic, but I'm going to go 2-1, I think. We're going to edge it late, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, 2-1. Goal scorers? March and Matoma, I reckon. Absolutely yeah. love that. What do you rate this Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, then, out of all the ones in the Premier League that you've been to personally? It's right up there. Second to the Amex, probably. Yeah. I've, I've done the stadium tour. 
and it is absolutely amazing. Oh. Yeah, I'd recommend anybody do it absolutely, from a neutral yeah. point of view, but the, the NFL locker rooms is so amazing how they've catered yes. for them. Yes. So, yeah, it's an incredible stadium. Definitely yeah. worth a visit. Yeah. Definitely. What do you think, Dylan? Do you, do you rate this stadium? Yeah, yeah similar feelings, yeah. Very, definitely. it's so incredible, the structure, and it's very modern. Yeah, Fun worth time. a visit, definitely. Absolutely. Dylan, appreciate yeah, you coming cheers. on. Rob, thank you, mate. Cheers, appreciate mate. it. That's good start. For this big game today, yeah. how are you feeling for this one? I'm feeling quite confident today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. What are your score predictions then? Who's scoring? I'm going to say 2 1 to Brighton. Okay. I'm saying Matoma, Ferguson, and for Tottenham, Harry Kane. Do you rate this stadium as one of the best in the Premier League? Uh, well, I think it's, it's a big stadium. Mm. Yes. Do you enjoy coming here? Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. Is it? Yeah. And do you like it so far? Yes, it's quite big, it's really good. Fantastic stuff. Zach, thank you for coming on, buddy. Thank you. Right, Tony, Mark, great to see you guys on again. We always get you on, we always get you on. First of all, <laughs> rate, rate the hot dog. Fantastic, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, Ch love to see it. Chicken pie, horrible. <laughs> But this is really good. What do you rate the facilities here at Tottenham? It's my first time and it's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Would you, say, say, would you say it's one of the best uh, in the Premier League? Has to be, yeah. What do you rate the stadium? After the MX, yeah, second. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> so what is happening today then? Big game, isn't it, today? We're right under Tottenham, a bit up and down. As we said before, many a time, it depends if Tottenham turn up. We're doing really well, so it depends on where the we are up for it, which I know we will, because the Derby won't let that happen. Uh, so yeah, um, minimum draw. Yeah. But I think uh, if Matoma carries on the way he does, I think we might uh, end up uh, two-one Brighton. Fantastic stuff. What are you feeling today? Uh, well, nervous. I'm always nervous. Yeah. And I don't, I don't do predictions. No, no, no. no. So you're just saying we're going to win today. Okay, we're going to win today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love it. Yeah, here. yeah, absolutely love it, guys. Appreciate you coming okay. on. Thank you very much. Thank you. So many of us around, and then we sort of go on and go down to the ground, and it's going to be half an hour. I mean, how long is their journey today? <laughs>
Handball. 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 We'll see, we'll see. No goal. No goal. Yes, yes! Oh. Go! Yes. Yeah. Oh my lord! How have we not scored? Straight in. Not bad, you know, I'll take that. We got a goal back, equal again. Big up the boys. What a fight. Hanson, Harry, wow, that hurt, didn't it? You heard, you heard of me a lot. Mm. What did you make out of the goals today, though? Quite incredible goals. Son scored an absolute cracker and dunk off a header on a corner. It's quite weird to see a corner goal, isn't it, for Brighton? That's right, yeah. The first goal, I thought it was, it was a good goal. Mm. The, the Son's goal, it was a good goal, yeah. There's nothing to complain about it. Yeah. And I thought the dunky goal was, I, I, I have never seen 
him score that, that kind of goal. Yeah. So yeah. it was a yeah, it was a great goal. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I thought we deserve a win, at least a draw. Yeah. I, I felt like I thought the referee was just horrendous. It was horrible. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. felt like we were robbed today. Yeah, we got robbed today. Absolutely. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Uh, Samsung, I, I, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. We'll move on to Harry then, Harry. Thoughts on the game, yeah, so it's a lot to process after that really, it's, it's going to be an interesting match reaction, that's for sure. What do you think of it then? I think it really, really hurt, um, obviously I think we were, we were expected to come here and win at least 2-1, that was obviously my prediction and Mine too, as, yeah. as Sanson said, the referee was absolutely horrendous today, I don't think the referee could really control the game, obviously De Zerbi voicing his anger at that and um, obviously getting them sent off along with the Tottenham manager and I think it's all very, very well, well merited, even though I think obviously taken away from the goals, I think Son obviously scored an absolute peach of a goal today. Um, obviously, yeah. we, we know we know that we can't give him that amount of time and room because he will punish us if we do that. Absolutely. And then obviously, <clears throat> Dunk's goal absolutely quality from a corner. Great to see a set piece goal this season because we've not they've been very very few and far between. And then uh, Harry Kane's one was just basically cut across the box. We didn't defend it in time, no. and basically it was just hit in. Um, yeah. Unlucky. It but, was. You know. It was definitely a Harry Kane goal, wasn't it? It was set for him. You knew that run up he was taking to hit that shot. It was going to go at the back of the net. Um, Deserve on a red card. That's again seems to get suspended a lot at the moment, doesn't it? Thoughts on that? I mean, we obviously didn't really see much that happened over there. It'll be interesting to see back what happened, but bit of tension between the two two, two managers in the end there wasn't it there was and i think it's um i can, I can see why De Zerbi was feeling the same way that all of us fans were he was just feeling really frustrated about the ref the quality of refereeing today because i thought it was absolutely horrendous yeah. and you know that we can't have games like keep like like this keep being yeah. ruined by the referees mm -hmm. because it feels like it's happened so much this season yeah. especially against the top six teams in particular may i say yeah definitely well harry look i appreciate you coming on man for the interview at the end what a game we've just had. Quite disappointing. Are you disappointed after that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Do you think that we should have come away with a point or three points? Three points because it, it, I don't think it was a handball by McAllister on the second no. one. No, it was hard to see, wasn't it? It was hard to see. Do you think we were robbed today? <laughs> Definitely. Who would, say, who would you say your favourite player was today? Who played the best today in Brighton? I think it's Lewis Dunk. Really, Lewis Dunk. I think it was a good goal, wasn't it, from Lewis Dunk? Stanley, thank you so much for coming on, buddy. Appreciate it. Cool. <sighs> well, look, that was it here for the Tottenham game away. Look, we had an amazing game last time we came here, but today I said 2 1, but it went the complete other direction. We were very unlucky, very unfortunate. Guys, if you want to see my full reaction, though, after this game, you're going to have to watch the match reaction video that will be coming out in a day or two. So be ready for that video. I'll be talking in depth about the game, what my thoughts are on it, when I've processed what has just happened. If you are new Tottenham fans, new Brighton fans, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on and give this video a big thumbs up because it would help massively for this video to get on that algorithm. We love that. We absolutely love it. But look, massive entertainment today. If you're a neutral watching this, you've got to enjoy that. You absolutely out there. But anyways, we're going back down south to Brighton and we will be ready for that match reaction video. It's been your boy, Loot Links Brighton, and I'll see you Brighton fanatics in the next one. Peace.